Good day, mates. How's you going? I just wanted to say that, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I made videos, and uh, here's my topic of the day money, 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 money. It's a rich man's world. Speaking of money, I got a check. Money, 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 money. Anyway, so as you know, that Canada, yes, Canada is going to be having new banknotes. If you haven't already heard, they're going to be made of uh, polymer, which is a type of plastic carbonate paper. Um, the reason for this is it's much difficult to counterfeit, and you have a little window that will help you determine if the money is fake or not. So I have in my hands right now all of the banknotes of Australia. Now I hope that the Canadian ones don't come in different sizes but obviously you could see there's a 5, a 10, a 20, 50 and 100. So I will talk to you about this in a bit and We'll start off with the lowest. They used to have pennies. No, that's not the case anymore. Uh, so if you ever go to the grocery store, they'll either round it to the nearest. Yep, yeah, they round it to nearest ten or the nearest zero. So if it's four forty-four, then it's going to be four forty-five. Oh, my lie, I lied. To nearest fifth. So if it's four forty-four, it'll be four forty-five. Okay. So here is the lowest currency. As always, you can mistake this for being a dime. It's Queen Elizabeth II, as always. And then the back is the five cent. Can you see? Yeah. There you go. And then, as always, Queen Elizabeth in the front. And the ten cent. So, actually, the dime is much bigger than the five. The nickel. And then you're up to 20 cents. And of course, the queen, as always. And then the 20 cents. I really don't know what that is. It looks like. Uh, I can never tell. It looks, looks like a sea creature. Yeah. And then you have the, the big gigantic 50 cents. So they have a half dollar here which is with kangaroo and the emu and the uh, coat of arms so that is the century federation coin and i just want to compare the size of this see that the 50 cents is bigger than the one dollar it's got the kangaroo kangaroos by the way, kangaroo, um, the reason why they call it kangaroo is because they don't know what it was. So the aboriginals could not explain what the kangaroo was. So that's why. Uh, so it's called kangaroo means like, I don't know. I don't know what the hell it is. So, and of course the $2 bill. And now this guy here was knocked off the $5 bill. Sorry. I'll get to him in a bit. His name is Sir Henry Parks, who is an Australian statesman and the father of Federation and the earliest advocate of Federal Council of the Colonies of Australia and a precursor to the Federation of Australia and he was the most prominent of Australia founding fathers. So, to make it even more low that he was knocked off the $5 bill, Look at the size between a two dollar and a one dollar. My goodness, I have seen so many of these two dollars lost. Like you can just go pick them up like it's pennies, like lucky pennies. Well, these ones are more worth value, lucky two dollar coins. So that's why I'm still a bit iffy. Like whenever I need change, I would rather have two one dollars over this little guy here um, to be 
now to talk about the bank notes um, you have Catherine Helen Spence who was also in the knocked off the five dollar bill and I'll tell you who replaced her it was uh, she was a Scottish born Australian author teacher journalist politician and leading suff suffragette uh, gotta love wiki and she became the Australia's first female political candidate after standing unsuccessfully at the federal convention held in Adelaide which is in South Australia another place I want to go visit in Australia and she's known as the greatest Australian woman and given the title Grand Old Woman of Australia so uh, yeah unfortunately she was knocked out with who else can say the Queen Her Majesty and it would have been her but instead we have the Parliament buildings so let me tell you a bit about the banknotes so in Canada they have a famous person in the back they have some image that represents Canada well here other than the five dollar bill uh, why dog you keep us up all morning sorry now I said in the front and in the back oh not to mention the window is a gum flower yeah so if you actually look through it you can actually see the number encrypted in the bills so now the next person is banjo oh to mention the other bills they're all going to have a picture of a man and a woman with a window so that's what it's going to look like hopefully they're not different sizes they kept them all the same size because it just trust me you want them all the same size so now obviously banjo if you've heard of waltzing matilda this was a composer Australian bush poet, journalist, and author, and he wrote many ballads and poems about Australian life, focusing particularly on rural and outback areas, including the district around Binalong, New South Wales, and wrote Waltzing Matilda, The Man from Snowy River, and The Clancy of the Overflow. And right behind him is Dame Mary Gilmore. And she was the most prominent Australian socialist poet and journalist. So you have the writers and the ten dollar bill. By the way, um, for every one Austro Aussie dollar is a dollar twenty Canadian. A bit, maybe even a bit more. I think it was dollar twenty five. All right. Next, we have Mary Ribey. Mary Ribey. Oh, and forgot one thing. It's uh, this one here. It's a windmill. The windmill is the window. So this one here is a compass. Uh, we have here a Southern Cross. Southern Cross is a station here, by the way, and it's got engraved a 50 on the window. And here is a lyre bird. Okay, so. Now back to some history lesson. We have here Mary Ribey, who's an English woman who was transported to Australia as a convict. Yes, there were convicts before. I'll tell you a history lesson later. But went on to become a successful businesswoman in Sydney. And right behind him, wow, they actually still have room for um, ministers here. John Flynn, Minister John Flynn, Pastor John Flynn. Uh, he was a Presbyterian who founded the Fly Royal Flying Doctor Service and is also known as the world's first air ambulance. So, a friend of mine said the other day uh, they invented toilets that flush. Well, they also invented the air helicopter, as you can see there. Finally, we have the $50 bill dollar bill they look up very colorful they're more colorful than the Canadian ones and this next man here is David Unapon 
or you also know do not near pony he's an aboriginal and uh australian aboriginal of the no forgive me if i don't say this properly no in jury people and he's a preacher inventor writer and he was also most widely known as the aboriginal in australia and broke stereotypes of aboriginals and he was also he's now in the 50 dollar bill they used to have old banknotes and they all um were different people so now the next one is edith cohen and was the first australian woman elected as an australian par parliament and a politician and a social campaigner so uh these yeah and oh and by the way the pictures behind are just the national what they're known for so yeah so with this woman here this parliament building uh just her standing on some podium and just some family okay finally last but not least dame nelly melba uh, born Helen Nellie Porter Mitchell was the, an Australian operatic soprano. She became one of the most famous singers of the late Victorian era and the early 20th century. And she was the first Australian to achieve international recognition as a classical musician. And last but not least, Sir John Monash. And you got the nice live bird there. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually holding this. I never get this uh, to hold these because they never come out uh, the bank. This is my last two. And this is Sir John Monash right here. And what can I say? Civil engineer, he became Australian military commander in the First World War. And he commanded the 13th Infantry Bridget before the war and then became a commander of the 4th Brigade in Egypt shortly after the outbreak of the war with whom he took part in the Gallipoli campaign and July 1917 he took charge of the new Australian 3rd Division of Northwest France and in May 1918 he was made commander of the Australian Corps at the time the largest individual corps on the Western Front and uh, in 1918 of August successful allied attack at the Battle of and Mainz was spearheaded by the Australian Corps under Monash. And they have freeways named after him. So it's called the Monash Freeway. There's M1, M3, and M17, I think. Yeah. But anyway, so there's a little history of the banknotes. And um, I hope you're all doing well. And uh, yeah, let's see what the new Canadian dollars have to do. Until so, bye for now.